What's up, everybody? This is Johnny Basement, and we are back here in the basement for another AFL footy review, but it's not really so much a review today. It's a question, guys. This is a question. You guys that have been traveling along with this American's journey into the AFL have been involved in this in about three months before the season even started. Done reviews on the rounds. I've done reviews on players. I've done reviews on some teams. I'm learning, and I'm learning, and I'm coming along. You guys saw my who am I going to pick for my four AFL teams, the four teams I had it down to. And during this time frame when I was down to pick up my four teams, which was between Essendon and Brisbane and Hawthorne and Collingwood. During this time, I picked Brisbane for all that don't know, but during this time, it was a hard time to go along because Mason Cox played for Collingwood. I'm an American. I like to support Americans. And I still support him. I'm not going to sit here and say I don't. I do support Mason Cox because he is a fellow American. And his story is inspirational. This isn't about Mason Cox. I'm just saying. Guy left America, left a six-figure job waiting for him to go to a country where he knew nobody, had no friends, had no family, didn't even know the sport that well, and took a chance. That's a monster risk. If you want to see my review on Mason Cox, check it out, okay? I don't have a hatred toward Collingwood. I don't, have, I, I don't understand the hatred toward Collingwood, and this is where you guys are going to come in. You guys are going to help me understand what the love for Collingwood or the hate is for him. Because during that time when I was picking my four teams, I got a whole lot of don't pick Collingwood. Better not be, pick Collingwood, Johnny. Essendon is one thing. Hawthorne's another. Brisbane's another. Don't pick Collingwood, Johnny. I got more don't pick Collingwoods than pick Collingwoods. What I'm asking you guys, this is not my opinion. I am not in the game long enough to make a judgment on Collingwood. But man, in the comments, I got bombarded with more don't pick Collingwood. You better not. We'll unsubscribe. I got a lot more of that than I did pick Collingwood. Now, I had people telling me to pick them, that I'll get all these subs, or I'll lose subs, or whatever else. So I'm real curious. I've done a little research, but now everything I'm going to talk about is not my opinion. A lot of it is what I've looked up and where these things stem from. How is Collingwood so disliked? What is it? Please tell me. This is what I've found. Now, again, this is my research. This is my research, okay? This is not my opinions. What I'm going to say is what I found. I need your comments today. I need your comments. Enlighten me. Let me know why. The love-hate relationship with Collingwood and the Aussies is so huge. This is what I found, and I can tell you this much. I'm a New York Yankee fan. Boom, right there, New York Yankees. That name alone. Dallas Cowboys, New England Patriots, Tom Brady, LeBron James, Floyd Mayweather. All of this has love, hate, love, hate, love, hate. Now, I understand like the New York Yankees, which would be an equivalent to a team that I love, would be equivalent to Collingwood in the love, hate relationship. Now, this is where this separates. This is where it's weird to me. The New York Yankees have 27 world championships, 27 rings that they have won. That not only is by far the most in baseball, it's, it's the most in all the four major sports over here. They have more rings than anybody in football, anybody in basketball, anybody in hockey. Nobody has 27 championships in any of those four sports except the New York Yankees. Now, I looked up Collingwood. They have 15 premierships. They have won 15 grand finals. It's not even the most. Essendon and Carlton have 16 apiece. So I said, okay, they're not even the leading premiership with it. They haven't even won the most grand finals. They're, they're one behind Essendon and Carlton. So I said, okay, so that's not it. They set the record with 44 appearances in grand finals, right? They won 15. They drew in two of them. And they lost 27. Which, by the way, 44 appearances is our AFL record. 27 losses is an AFL record. So they have the most wins and the most losses. I'm like, all right, so where would the hate come from that? Because from my research, Collingwood was more big, more relevant, more prevalent, more uh, in the 20s and 30s. They dominated a lot in the 20s and 30s. 80s a little bit, right? 90s, they won in 1990. You didn't even see them in a, in a, in a grand final till 2002 and 2003 when they lost to the, uh, to the Brisbane Lions two years in a row. 
They lost two years in a row. They weren't even in it between 90 and 2002. 12 years. 12 years they weren't even in it. They came around and uh, won in 2010, which is the last time they even won a premiership, right? 2010. Isn't it cool, guys? They used to say premiership. Premiership, I pay attention. I'm taking this serious, guys. And you guys that are following along my journey know it. So premiership. That was my word of the week this week, my new word of the week. So, and thanks to you guys. You guys have been incredible. So anyway, they haven't won since 2010, so we're now going on, what, the 13th year? They were in it in 2011, lost. Went in 2018, lost. So where is the hate coming from? Is it because everybody, every sport, every movie, whatever, needs a good guy, bad guy situation? Is it that? Did they get drawn out because they're one of the oldest football clubs here? They're one of the oldest ones? Is it because, it can't be, it can't be because they dominated in the 20s and 30s the most in their history. It can't be from that. That's 100 years ago. It can't be that. Haters, haters bring, just so you guys know, haters bring more success to a boxer, to a team, to a sport, to an entertainer than all their loving supporters. Floyd Mayweather, greatest businessman ever. Why? He drew the hate. Why do people watch Floyd Mayweather boxing matches? Why do they watch him? Honestly, why do they watch them? They want to see him lose. They want to see him lose. Personally, I like the guy. I thought he's, he's the greatest defensive boxer the game has ever seen. I don't care the weight class. No one is a better defensive boxer than Floyd Mayweather. But the way he talked and the way he ran his mouth and all that other stuff, his supporters were outnumbered by his haters. His haters wanted to see him lose. They paid that pay-per-view money because I want to see Floyd lose. I want to see him lose. I want to see Tom Brady lose. I don't want to hear LeBron is in the same category as Michael Jordan. There's no way. LeBron does nothing wrong in his personal life. I mean, he does nothing but charities up and down the wall, builds schools for children. I mean, the guy does nothing wrong, right? I mean, but he's hated. Anybody that knows about Howard Stern knows he, his haters were more than his lovers. Why? They both had the same reason. They listen all this time to what? I want to hear what he says next. So where does this come from for Collingwood? You know you're successful when you have haters. So Collingwood, is it? where does it come from? The fan base. I hear, the, I hear nasty things about the fan base. What is wrong with the fan base? Please tell me. I'm new to this. Guys, I'm new to this. All I found out about the fan base is they're working class and they get picked on by other clubs. So what? I'm working class. I'm a New York Jet fan. Believe it or not, the New York Giants and the New York Jets, the New York Giants is a lot of, they're considered white collar, Jets is considered blue collar. So what? So what? I, that can't, but what is the problem with that? They, they, I wrote it down here. What does that have to do? They call the Collingwood fans crude and ignorant. Why? What are they doing that's crude and ignorant? I don't understand. This is not my opinion. I'm too new. I'm just telling you what I found on why Collingwood is loved and hated. When I did my final four picks, I got so much back on the Collingwood stuff. Throughout other comments on other videos that I wasn't even talking about Collingwood. I'm going to be reviewing Collingwood games. I'm going to always take the big matches every round. I'm going to review them. Like Melbourne is playing Brisbane this week. That's a monster game. We're going to review that. Collingwood's playing. We're going to review that. Like these are things that are popular. You guys have to drop in the comments. This isn't a long video today because I want to know. I want to know what is the big deal about Collingwood. Love, hate, I want to know. Is it where they're located? Is it their history? Is it their fan base? Is it the ownership? Is it the coach? Who and why does this go on with the Pies? I want to know. I want to know. I'm always going to support Mason Cox. He's an American. So when he's out there and he's, and he's killing it and crushing it, and his story alone is phenomenal, inspirational, I don't care what you're doing in life. You want to talk major risk? major, man, I'm going to get out of my safety zone and go for it all at another country? Much respect for me on that. So I'm always going to support that. Yeah, I picked the Lions as my team, but I'm loving all of the AFL. I'm loving this journey. But this during my time, I have to know. 
and reading and looking at stats and this, that, and the other. I don't know. You guys are the fans. You guys are the footy fanatics. And I'm becoming one, man. I am so into this stuff. I get up at 4 in the morning to watch these games, man. 4 in the morning to watch a lot. I can't get up for the one thirty games. That's too early. Guys, I got to tell you, I'm going to end this right here. This is your video. This is your time. Collingwood, why do you love them? Why do you hate them? There's no other team that I got more on this. And when I look things up, it's all on Collingwood. Tell me. I need to know. I'm Johnny Basement, guys. I will see you. Round two is coming up. Round two is coming up this week. Brisbane, I need them to know that you have to play a whole four quarters, man. That second half was awful. So we're going to go. We're, that's behind us now. We're going to go into this week, guys. We're going to have a lot of fun. Guys, I'm Johnny Basement. I will see you guys on the next video for the next round. Coming up, round two coming up this week, guys. Thank you so much to all of the Aussies out there that have been supportive to me. Guys, they've been helping me. You guys have been tremendous to this American New York Jets fan that is loving footy, trying to get it over here in America, guys. Join me on my journey through the whole rounds, right through the premier. I almost said premiership. I'm getting it. Right through the premiership this season, guys. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to come to Australia and go to the MCG and the GABA. We're, my wife and I are trying to make this happen. Rock and I are trying to make this happen, guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe, bell notice, like button. Keep this basement rolling, guys. I'll see you on the next video. And drop in one of my live streams, guys. Plenty of Aussies are in my live streams for the New York Rangers and the New York Knicks. And eventually, we're going to start doing some AFL. Just remember, guys, a lot of these games start at 1.32 in the morning here. I can't be doing that in the house. That, that's, too, that's way too early for me to be yelling and screaming. I'm too emotional a guy watching sports, okay? We're going to work on that, though. We're going to get some live streams of these games as well. I'll see you on the next video, guys. And I am out!